And let's check in with Joseph now. Uh, that heavy ice really is the situation you saw there, Joseph, uh, how so many of those trees coming out by the roots just uh, falling down because they're so weighted down with that heavy ice that uh, Lisa was just showing us. Yes, no doubt. Very dangerous out there. Those ice storms, I mean, they almost do more damage than the snowfall, and we've had that uh, from Portland all the way down. She mentioned Hey, we may get some more tonight and is in the forecast. In fact, we are waiting for this moisture to move in. It is here right now and we're already getting some reports of some freezing rain up in the West Hills. Snowfall to the north of us again that cut off right around the state line. So to the north, mainly seeing snowfall, uh, but you may get a brief uh, moment of a, a wintry mix and then we still have more down to the southwest. So expecting still some minor ice to accumulate as we go into this evening and for tonight. And you never know, some of the trees and some buildings may be right there teetering on the edge from what we had accumulated from yesterday. And so just a little bit more uh, may be enough to teeter and uh, put us over the top. So please be careful. Um, I, I do believe this is going to be sticking around for the remainder of tonight on and off. It's not going to be consistent like yesterday, but we're going to be seeing a few bouts as we go through uh, this evening. Here's 515. We'll pause it over towards Gresham. The radar is coming in with more of a wintry mix. The farther south you go, about a shot for some rain, but it's still very cold right here and off towards the north where we're getting reports of snowfall. This is likely just going to be some snow, but you may have had a brief moment where you had a wintry mix in there all the way down to about the state line. As I mentioned, we'll take a wider view. We have more moisture just to the west and you can see more starting to pick up over areas of the Pacific towards the Oregon and Washington coast and it's moving in our direction and it will kind of pass right on through into the colder air here if it makes it through the Cascades. So each little category that we've been watching and monitoring for the last few days we'll still see some action for tonight. I don't think it really slows down much and I don't believe we're going to thaw out yet till maybe Sunday night heading into Monday. So here's our forecast for tonight. Roads are still going to be snowy and icy. They're just kind of packed in there. There's some locations that are better than others, but if you're going out, the traction tires will really help. If we see some light snow, um, it's probably going to be less than an inch around Portland with some higher totals up into areas of Clark and Cowlitz County, maybe about two inches or so. Still very cold, not as windy. That should help hopefully with the trees. Uh, but we have another round of freezing rain in a wintry mix as we are seeing right now on the radar. And that's why I have this highlighted in yellow because I think this is definitely likely uh, as we go through this evening. As I mentioned, also the thaw out is, uh, is just not going to happen. Um, here's the ice storm from Salem yesterday. And this was the photo that was taken and sent to us from Paula down to the south. I mean, look at this. Uh, you can see all of the icicles coming through. And then if you look beyond it here, you can see on the trees how icy it is as well. So these ice storms, they come uh, every so uh, many years. And this is one that we will definitely remember. Winter weather advisory till noon tomorrow. You can see this whole section of purple here again because of some light snow and the possibility for that wintry mix as we go into tonight. Still have a winter storm warning here until Monday at 4 a.m. Uh, right here through areas of the gorge and up towards Parkdale there. More snow and more uh, ice. I would say probably more of an ice uh, threat tomorrow night for the gorge and that's why they have that extended till Monday at 4 a.m. Yeah, a lot to talk about. It's cold outside. Temperatures in the 30s though, so it's warmed up slightly. We have lower 30s out of Hillsborough and Beaverton at 31 and 12 and at 30. You get a little bit closer to the gorge. It's colder. Washougal mid 20s still plenty of snowfall there in the higher elevations. 28 out of Camas, Truckdale 29 and PDX there at 30 degrees. Very cold through the Columbia Basin up to the plateau and then we have warmer air down towards Eugene where it's at about 50 degrees. Uh, and the Oregon coast pretty warm in the central section but Astoria at 37 where there's been ice chunks and snowfall up towards the northwest Oregon coast. So that cold air made it all the way out to the ocean there. All right, future cast here as we go through the overnight. Again, there's that scattered moisture, heavier rain down to the south, snowfall through the mountains into Sunday morning. And we may have a wintry mix heading into the evening hours, but here's 10 p.m. This is when we start warming up. I think we see our temperatures even at the surface, probably pushing about the mid to upper 30s by tomorrow night. This is probably going to be the warmest part of our day. Plenty of snowfall there Sunday night continues through on Monday morning, and I'm hoping by the time we get through our Monday, our temperatures are back into the 40s and we start to thaw out and we start to warm on up. All right, seven day forecast here. We have 44 degrees Monday, 45 weighing on Tuesday, some dry time on Wednesday, but this week is still going to be pretty wet. Uh, I do have temperatures in the mid 40s for the most part. I think uh, 
we start warming up tomorrow night, but we're still not out of the woods just yet. Yeah, and then of course the, the melt's gonna be a whole nother set of issues that we'll That's be dealing right. with. Yeah. All right, thank you, Joseph.